we start a new chapter called the principles of mathematical induction okay now now this word induction this word induction has got certain connotations that will not be readily apparent until or unless we understand what we mean by it there is a whole branch of of mathematical reasoning there is a whole whole chapter on mathematical reasoning that we'll be doing in in some other part in some um, other video but but let me kind of introduce some some basic tenets of that chapter to you here <coughs> right <coughs> so so let us say i make these series of statements right so so i have i have this statement i say that that say say roy is a boy okay and then i make another statement which may seem very biased right that all boys are naughty okay okay and then i say that roy is naughty do you agree with it if if these two statements are a given right they are a given they are the given statements they are they are called premises right technically they are called a premises right if that is given then this is this conclusion they are given and you may not agree with it maybe you do not agree with it right but they are given suppose they are given then from these two is this conclusion correct is this conclusion correct okay so yes this conclusion is called deduction okay what do you do you through a given given premise and applying certain logic you up, you arrive at a conclusion right this sort of logic this sort of logic is called deduction okay <clears throat> this is called called a deduction understand so what happens in a deduction in a deduction we we make a general statement we make a general statement all boys are naughty right then i link roy to be a boy right so so roy is a boy so what did i do here i started with a generalization so i started with a generalization okay i i start with a generalization so we start with a generalization we start with a generalization we start with a generalization
we start with the generalization and and then go to a particular case right then we go to a particular case so we started with the generalized generalization that said all boys right and then we went to conclude about what right we see that we can come to a mathematical sort of reasoning okay we can come to a mathematical reasoning uh, of of deduction so so maybe i i begin with another statement i say 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 so so this is number 2 9 is not divisible by 2 9 is not divisible by 2 okay then i say any number not divisible by 2 is an odd number and then I say 9 is an odd number will I be correct am I right this is my conclusion this is my conclusion okay am i right i said any number that is not divisible then i brought in 9 and then i concluded that it is an odd number so again i went from from generalization from a generalized case to a particular case so this is also a a deduction this is also a deduction This is also called a deduction. Okay. Now, in contrast to this, this this field of deduction, there is another logic. There is another way of proving things that is called induction. Okay induction so 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 and, and this will this will kind of sound weird here we we do the opposite right it's kind of kind of opposite to deduction opposite to deduction in 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 what sense in what sense here earlier you were going from a generalization to a particular case right here we start from a particular case we start from a particular case and and investigate all the cases okay and investigate all the cases and and then generalize and then generalize now it may it may sound weird but we do that right for example in a particular disease okay in a particular disease you see a particular symptom and it has been caused by a particular virus so so maybe you have you see a symptom and, and, and you see that it has been caused by some virus. Let us say you have been able to pinpoint it. And then you see the same. So, so that, that, that is for one person. Okay. Done. 
then you see it in the second person because, because you never know because it is always due to this right so you see the same same symptoms in the second person you find the same virus third person same virus second same first same fourth same fifth same sixth same see maybe you started out with say 10 symptoms right but as you start looking at the cases you start maybe the number of symptoms the common symptoms that you see in all of them they may start decreasing and finally you now find that you have from 10 symptoms you have come come down to 5 but now for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100, 1000 right say 1 million you see all of them have the same symptoms what happened you now say that whenever this virus is there you will have these symptoms right so you finally generalized it correct whenever we, we, we do that right in so many studies we do that we see that if children are poor their access to education somehow gets blocked now you see it for one, blocked, two, blocked, third, blocked, right, fourth, blocked. So then you start stating it as, as, a, as a theory. Then you may start saying that for a person to have a proper education, first of all the poverty has to be eliminated. Correct? We do that. Okay, most often than not we do that, but it looks, it sounds weird that you have to go through so many cases to generalize, right? Right? Here too, because because you'll see that these generalizations also were at one time an induction. How do you know that all men are mortal? Okay, here you said you said that 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 that. Roy is a boy. All boys are naughty. How did you do that? How, how did you reach that conclusion? Even that conclusion that you are stating here for deduction, that must have come through induction. Because you must have watched so many boys, boys being naughty. Correct? So, 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 these are two forms of logic. And what we said in the beginning, was we are doing the principle of of mathematical mathematical induction right induction <coughs> fine there is another brilliant motivation for this principle of mathematical induction that i'll show you you must have you must have at some point of time you must have played the played the game where you you have a, a block right you have say another block right say say a brick or something what you normally call the domino right so a brick or something another brick another brick and a series of bricks right so many of them so many of them arranged one after another in our days we used to play it with bricks now you go to the YouTube you'll find people playing it with iPhones You've seen, you've seen hundreds and thousands of iPhones and they play a domino with it. I don't know how they manage it, but fine, times have changed, right? So, so we, will, we, we keep bricks one after another, 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 and what we'll do is we'll, we will try to push this, this one, the first one, right? And what happens? The first one goes and, and while turning, hits this and due to that force this falls and hits this and due to that this falls and hits this and 
it continues till maybe you have you have kind of taken this this effect to say some 100 200 breaks and, and it's really really uh, beautiful looking at it and 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 we'll put some bends right so so the thing will go like that and then we'll go like that and maybe it'll come back to you and and maybe it'll start some another trail somewhere else right we used to do that so 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 how do you ensure that when you when, when you kick this brick all the bricks will fall what do you do you have to ensure certain things for each of the bricks and what is that that the distance between the two cannot be more than the length of the brick for example there's a brick here and, and you place another brick here what happens this will fall without hitting this brick and the whole thing stops here correct correct that is not done secondly you cannot put them too close right if you if you kind of put them too close say, say this close what happens this does not gain enough velocity to hit it with a force that will topple it understand so then too it will not get toppled for example if you place them too close they will not topple okay it will just go it, it, it will just come and kind of kind of get get inclined and, and, and just rest like that that's all it will not budge fine so there has to be an optimum distance and if you maintain that with all of them you are pretty sure that all these will fall understand so what happens I have ensured two things what have I ensured we ensure the following we ensure the following number one that the first break falls you have to kick the first break right and the second thing is whenever whenever the nth break falls the nth break falls the n plus one nth break will will always fall get that whenever this falls any any in it any falls if this falls i have to ensure that this falls and this has to be true for all correct this is the motivation for the logic of mathematical induction but why are we talking about this in mathematics that will be clear when we do the next video right